Africa Tukun head office in Hyde Park was a buzz of excitement as Let's Play together with Ma Africa Tukun and Altitude joined forces in promoting sports and bringing the soccer celebrations to Ma Africa's Wings of Life Community Centre in Dipslert. The organisation is patent by Nelson Mandela. started about 15 years ago with the intent of helping kids who are in township environments deal with various stages of their development. Literally from the time that they're born and then as the kids grow up and as they develop so Tikkun, either directly through our own services, early childhood development, we build facilities and house children in those facilities, we teach them unity literacy, and then as they grow up and get a little bit older, if they go to school, we help support them by getting them school uniforms and paying for the fees to get to school. But more importantly, I think what we do also is provide an after-school support program. And then our final component is helping kids get into either a, a tertiary education and we have linkages with organizations like Boston College or uh, Kim Feinberg's organization, Tomorrow Trust, helps kids get um, university uh, acceptances and or into jobs. We work with the Department of Community Development on the program getting kids into first time jobs. Donors give in various forms. Um, some donors give cash. And secondly, a lot of donors give of their services. They've already got the transportation. So they'll necessarily lend transport to us for various different occasions, like today for our given sake, with the distribution of shirts, altitude, clothing, um, has donated over 20,000 kids out of sensitivity to those poorest of the poor kids. We're probably not going to get much benefit from the World Cup that's taking place. They certainly can't afford the tickets, and even if they could get the tickets, they can't afford the transport. So they're going to sit somewhat frustrated in township environments whilst the rest of the South Africa celebrate. So Altitude, if you with Tikkun, has recognised that one of the things we could do for that group of kids is we can give them a soccer shirt and make them feel a part of the whole process. And we at Tikkun are putting up big screen TVs and in a safe child-like environment will allow our kids access to watch the game. So today is an exciting day. We're getting um, over 20,000 uh, t-shirts distributed at uh, six sites uh, across the country that Tikkun is directly involved in. In addition, we're uh, distributing to an organization called NOAA that we have very close relationships with. Nemo's Pizza is making sure that the kids are fed on the day. And you guys at Supersport have just been very special because you're making it really tangible by giving soccer balls uh, to the kids at the same time that they get uh, these t-shirts. So we're taking this day and we're building into the day, not just a bit of pleasure for the day, but we're building an awareness AF to come, the sports programs, educational programs. We're creating role models to people like Mark Fisher coming out to show kids what they can do with their lives if they apply themselves. And I think that what we're doing is creating a consciousness uh, across that sector of the community that otherwise feels pretty damn obvious. So I'm grateful to Supersport and um, with all the sponsors that are supporting us today. Obviously, we've got to always look to try and raise more funds, the more money we have, uh, frankly, the more activities we can offer uh, and the more kids' lives we can touch. Transforming communities seems like an unreachable vision for most, but not for Ma Africa Tukun. From Dipslut, we headed to another one of their projects, this time in Orange Farm. Well, Ma Africa Tukun believes that the future is through healthy living and sport promotes healthy living. So that is the reason why we got involved with Let's Play and Mnet because your audience are very sporting related. They love health-seeking lifestyles, being healthy, being outdoors, you know, having fun. And that's exactly what we want to promote in our communities because children who are exposed to sports will want to excel at sport and that means they're not going to take drugs and get involved in gangs and, you know, get involved in things that are very negative. My Africa Tikkun is involved in many kinds of ball sports, including hockey, basketball, netball, we even do karate, it's not even a ball sport, um, soccer, 
We do all different kinds of things that will appeal to anyone, boys, girls, older kids, younger kids. And we also start kids from a young age and move them up. Like in our ECD centers, that's our early childhood centers, we've got children from age naught to six, and they're already starting to play with balls. So at least they can get their hand-eye coordination ready so when they grow up, then they can be good at sport, like soccer and netball and all of those sports. People can get hold of us on our website. It's www.myafrikatikun.org.za or they can also go to our new website that we've created for people who want to be involved in challenges. Like if someone's doing the 94.7 cycle challenge or they're doing the Argus or something like that and they'd like to do it for a meaningful purpose, then they can create a, a web page on beasport.co.za and then people can donate money to My Africa Tikkun through their initiative. Ma Africa Tsukun aims to enrich the lives of the children and youth in the six townships they operate in, and the people working at the various centres appreciate all the help they can get. Uh, Ma Africa Tsukun has partnered with Let's Play program, and this means that we receive balls about 360 today, but everybody knows that there's a lot that one can learn through sport, and because of these balls we are very sure that the youth that we keep in the center is going to benefit a lot because sporting is superb. This helps us to uh, encourage uh, life skills through the sporting event that we always have uh, uh, at Orange Farm. We take children from as early as one year old up to 19 years old. Between the years, these children are taught a lot of things things to guide them in life when they are old. One of them is perhaps the homework that we help them with. And on Mondays, I can tell you, it is a very good sports day. Today, we're all wearing T-shirts that were donated to us just to encourage the spirit of sportsmanship. Everyone is to be kept healthy and everyone loves sport. And it's 2010 and we have the FIFA World Cup going. That has enhanced also our program. Some of the programs include uh, life skills for the young people and um, feeding, and then they can also draw, they can also play together, drama, drumming, uh, computer literacy, uh, library use. Uh, it does quite a lot. Our bag is so full, but we have fun. While soccer fever was an all-time high, the guys from the Korean soccer team took some time out of their busy schedule to visit the Hlantlayetu Secondary School together with Let's Play UNICEF and the Department of Education. Ida Goma from UNICEF explains why. Today we are trying to formalize partnerships between UNICEF Korea, UNICEF South Africa and the Department of Education. Um, and it is uh, actually a contribution from the UNICEF uh, Korea uh, uh, to, uh, to the department for the construction of uh, sports fields. And, and so we're really uh, very happy that this will be the beginning of a partnership with, uh, with, with Korea, basically with the people of Korea, but through our UNICEF office in, uh, in Korea. After the formalities were taken care of, it was time to play some football. Even the MEC for Education in KwaZulu-Natal, Senzo Mkono, got a chance to showcase his skills. We're extremely excited. Extremely excited, uh, firstly by the signing of this memorandum of understanding between uh, uh, Seoul Broadcasting Systems and UNICEF, of which uh, uh, the Department of Education, the school here, the community here, the children here, are a beneficiary and uh, it, it, it's going to be a, a very high profile legacy of uh, the, the Koreans of the World Cup to us because we'll always say when this sports complex uh, gets, gets news that this was built in 2010 it is left for us as a, as a, as, as a, as a, as a legacy and uh, it will always inspire children here who will say a uh, World Cup came here but what we are left with is this inspiration to play football, to play other sports codes. And the classroom here and the Department of Education is a beneficiary because we need a very lively child in the classroom, a, very, a child who is awake, whose body is active, uh, who, which, which is developed by sports. And therefore, education directly is going to be a, 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 a direct beneficiary. And we are excited about it. 
We caught up with the gift of the givers in Soweto and managed to chat to Alad and Syed to find out more on the origin of this organization and the man behind it. Uh, gift of givers. Uh